right here we have our image that we render before and uh, now inside the Photoshop I want to modify a couple things I want to add a little bit more of the painting effect so this is actually our full resolution you can see we have the rocks nice kind of fog and I want to add a little bit more contrast coloring maybe to this and uh, some maybe coloring playing around and maybe some shadowing just overall see what we can enhance this already so for this I want to create first layer and let's call it's fog so when we add this additional fog it's take quite a bit time in a wood render because it's a render very realistically and it's taken doing a lot of lot of calculations to do this we can do much easier this if we're using Photoshop and just will using brushes this is some of my collection of the brushes and this is brush actual purchase um, from Ron's collection at the does so if you're interested you can purchase there as well and you can see we can create um, quite a bit effect so let's go to decrease size for this brush and we want actually 100% opacity so this is example so let's go ahead select again we don't need one pixel probably about right here so you can see we have a kind of nice clouds you can create it okay let's go pop up a little bit bigger and we'll just put it right there maybe so yeah let's go right here we'll go switch to the different a little bit more fog kind of maybe go like right there don't worry it's too thick which is okay we'll just add a little bit right there so what we can do with this we can modify also just let's take different ones okay so you can see kind of like fog we'll go switch this to the soft light and now with soft light we can even modify more so I want to go filter blur motion blur and we just stretch a little bit more of this so you can see it's kind of almost lines of the fog going over the ground okay we can play with this just add slightly right here before and after kind of add a little bit more fog on the ground we also can create a little bit more on the clouds like on a back same 100% white we can even add some around foreground we also can just go and click and select color of the clouds so you can see they will match much better this way and let's see what else we have we have quite a bit collections of different clouds like right there and you can see by adding we can add a little bit more on the distance there on the fog okay let's go switch again to soft light and soft light will add but not as dramatic so you can see it's softer again it's add some warmer color the next I want to bring this a little bit to the um, cinema colors and also let's add sharpness so we're going control shift alt E for command option shift E and it will take all layers and create a new one so on this layer we'll go to image adjust and we'll go to black and white and we can also play with some colors so red will get brighter okay so we can enhance some red maybe enhance a little bit green and bring cyan down it's blue and let's see how much of a yellow we want to bring right over there okay idea of this when we overlay this the whites will be, be brighter and black will be darker so it's given us this extra HDRI look okay let's go to next image adjustment we'll go to shadow and highlights and we'll take the shadows all the way to the hundred by the way if you see just like this you need click show me more options so you have access to all of these options so we'll take a highlights and shadows to 100 percent next 
will take radius and decrease to maybe about 20, maybe 19, somewhere around that area. Same for both of them. What it does, it's have it this little bit more in details. And at this point, we can play a little bit with a tone. And remember, if we go darker, it's add more to the shadows. If we go to brighter, it will add more to the light. Um, neutral 50% gray, one effect. So then we can kind of maybe add a little bit like this. Let's click OK. OK, then next, actually, I want to sharpen even more. So I go filter, sharpen, unsharp mask. And on unsharp mask, we'll be sure our radius set about one pixel. OK, and with amount, you can preview. If we go more, you can see how it's become very crispy, almost unnatural kind of crispiness. And this is what gives us this illustration look. So let's go to 100 and we'll switch this to the soft light. OK, right here you can see before and after. We lost quite a bit of this fog that we have before. But we always can restore this fog by applying masks. So let's first take our AGRI and bring all the way down. So next, I'm just looking on these plants right here, trees ignoring the back. And I want to see, like maybe about this, it's when they become look very nice. So I want to hold it on this. Next, we're going to add a mask. And on a mask, we're going to select our brush. I'll go select just a um, nice soft brush. Okay. We'll go to select black. And let's set our opacity maybe around 18, 19. Okay, at this point, we can increase and paint in. You can see this fog. So we still have a nice density. Okay, let's go increase. Me even maybe 40% because I want that fog on your side right there. So we have it very soft. Same on water, we can add a little bit more around here. You know, just touch in some areas. So we preserve softness, okay, and just add a little bit to those areas, okay. So right here you can see before and after, we just add a little bit more contrast to some of these areas. Actually, you know what, let's right here just add a little bit. Okay, so this way we add some sharpness to bring more dimensions. Let's go next, add some colors. And for this, we're going to use it curves. And we'll switch curves to the color mode. And let's go with the blue. We'll take blue shadows, bringing up. And we'll create middle point and drag middle point down. So you can see it's create quite a bit warmer color. That's what we're going after. And now let's re select red channel, bring cyan up, and take this one curves and just start bringing to same line. So right here. So you can see we have a little bit more color kind of apply. Bring cyan colors to the shadows. And at the same time, we add this warmer look. You always can go more colder if you need it. I think we can go around this, around here. So play more, see which one you think will work. You don't need to have a very dramatic look, but I think this overlay add kind of nice look. Okay, next let's go create a new layer. Okay, and right here we will do sharpness. Okay, this will be our color. Okay, and this one will be our um, dodge and burn type. Okay, so we create dodge and burn. We'll go to fill up this with 50% gray, normal mode, and switch this to the soft light. So you can see it doesn't affect anything till we start using our um, kind of brush. So and we can brush with the black, which is make shadows added more. You can see right here, like I want to add a little bit more shadows right there. 
Let's add kind of almost like vignetting a little bit. Okay, and we can also go ahead and Okay, we're gonna go take this one and we can add um okay let me clear up guides okay well white and we can add a little bit maybe around there just so brighten up also okay right here you can see just slightly adjusting again this is up to you, but this is an example you can kind of modifying some of the effects. So let's go to decrease this a little bit down. And last step, I like to create another curve. And this is, will be our luminosity. And in luminosity, we can actually or create curve if you need it. Now take shadows and bring lights, a little bit more contrast area or a little bit flatten. So it's um, how you like it. But overall, I like to bring black just a little bit up and white a little bit down. So in case we're going to um, print, it will print nicely without overlaying them. Okay, so we can add more effects if you need it. And just as example, let's to combine them together. And if you want it, you can go ahead and going inside the filter gallery. And of course, you can use all these different effects to your scenery that maybe um, you, you like it. Like, for example, um, brush strokes will work very well with this if you want to create more painting look and primarily apply to the mountains background and clear up a little bit front. We can also use it with this um, texturing will apply as a painting effect. Okay, but right now let's you know what let me go look actually cross patch may work very well so we'll go add a little bit actually less on this let's more sharpen it and i'm look on the mountains because this ones i will overlay this example okay i think this will work okay so same you can create a mask inverse mask and with a white color you can paint in a little bit more to the mountain to add them. You can see more kind of painting effect to the mountain before and after. So add this um, kind of little brushing brush strokes this way. Okay, so thank you for watching this tutorial from Geekit Play Studio and please remember visit us on the web is www.geekitplay.com for more tutorials.